key nutritional aspects of being a UFC fighter are earth-grown nutrients. That's real food, that's whole food. I like to say no pills, no powders, no potions. We don't need that garbage, we need real food. Real food has sustained life on this planet since the dawn of time, and that's exactly what I feed my athletes and I want them to eat. I want everybody to eat that food because that's what we truly need. So today I'll start with what we call the breakfast bowl. That's oats, that's hemp seeds, that's chia seeds, that's fresh fruits, blueberries, strawberries, raisins, um, almond butter or peanut butter dumped in there, maybe a little mix of coconut oil, spin, uh, a pinch of cinnamon. It's absolutely delicious. That gives you the glycogen, the carbohydrates you need. It gives you the fiber. It gives you a high protein content, gets the metabolism running, and gets you ready to roll through your day. So after the, the first hard session, right as my athlete steps off the mat, I want them to drink a smoothie. The smoothie is a whole fruit vegetable smoothie with some additional plant-based protein sources like hemp seeds dumped in there. So you have blueberries, you have red grapes, uh, maybe you have some beets, you have a little spice of uh, a lemon thrown in there, you have some kale, you have some spinach, you have carrots, you have celery. Um, it's, it's absolutely amazing. And it's, again, it's whole foods, it's real foods. The body is able to absorb that immediately. When you use powders, unfortunately, there's a lot of chemicals and preservatives in the powder, in the powders that the body actually competes in digestion. When you use whole foods, there is no competition. The body absorbs it and you're ready to go. Now for our lunch, our lunch is typically what most people consider breakfast. So for lunch, that's when we have our egg meal. You know, three, four, even five eggs, depending on the size of the athlete. Again, lots of veg thrown in there. Lots of spinach, lots of kale, lots of peppers and onions, things like that. And we will use toast. I use what's called a sprouted grain toast. So we stay away from the, the harder, the heavier gluten products, and we use the sprouted grains. Um, there, again, a little bit more fruits on the side, maybe some green tea to keep the thermogenic effect, keep the body burning fat, keep the immun immunity strong, and a lot of water, which is very important. For water, for myself, I'm a 200 pound guy. I drink two gallons of water every single day, whether I'm training or not. If I'm in hard training, I'll drink close to three gallons a day, which is almost 12 liters. My wife drinks one gallon. She drinks you know, four liters of water a day easily, and she's very petite, she's very feminine, very tiny. So for the guys out there listening, you should be thinking about eight liters a day easily. Water is life, that's what we need. So you get rid of all the soda and all the, the, the preserved you know, juices and things like that. You focus on what the body truly needs and absorbs, and you're gonna feel amazing, and your body's gonna lean out dramatically. So for snacks, uh, I like to pair simple sugars and essential fats. That could be in the form of an orange and half an avocado, an excellent snack that's one of my favorites. You can have an apple and a handful of cashews. Again, that is a great snack. Uh, you can have some of the sprouted grain toast with a little bit of honey dribbled on top, possibly some almond butter. That's amazing, that's a snack. If you have kids at home, kids absolutely love that. So those are the things that we snack on. It's delicious, it keeps your blood sugar nice and stable, keeps the metabolism moving, and they're very nutrient dense, which is important, so there's no wasted calories. Final meal of the day I call a mom's meal, something that we would traditionally have with better ingredients. So I like wild caught meats, you know, nothing you know, uh, preserved, no chemicals, anything like that. If you can get it wild in the field and it doesn't even know it's about to be taken down, that's what we want. So we have wild lean meats, we have a lot of veg once again, obviously you can tell I'm a huge you know, uh, produce fan because that is life and uh, lots of veg and then complex carbohydrates in the form of quinoa, brown rice, sweet potatoes, things like that and we eat. And my athletes, even when they're losing you know, 30, 40, 50 pounds before competition, I make sure they're constantly eating a tremendous amount of highly usable foods.